So welcome to the next video in the Microbit series. In this video we're going to be looking at while loops. So last time we learned about for loops which allows you to loop um, a specific number of times and we store um, the loop counter in a, in a variable. Um, this time we're going to look at a while loop which is a, it's a condition based loop. Um, so if we just start by looking at the if statement which we learned about in a previous video. An if statement says that if the condition um, that's attached to it is true then we run the code that is inside and we only run that once at that point it goes down to the next line of code underneath a while loop is a similar thing so we say that while a certain condition is true then we run the code that's underneath until that condition is no longer true so if I plunk that onto there we can see that while button A is pressed we run the code inside so in this case the while loop will state so long as button A is pressed down the code inside will run now in order to show you how a while loop functions we're going to make a, um, a security system for your micro bits which means that any program that you have installed the user will need to put in a password in order to get in and we're going to make our password the A and B button being pressed together so first thing we need to do is create a variable so we go to variables and we set a new item I can put that above the while loop because we don't want it to be done inside the loop and we say new variable and I'm going to call this password and we're going to set the password to a boolean uh, value a boolean is either true or false and in this case we want password to be set to false because at the start of the program the password has not been inputted when the user puts the input in we're going to change password to true now the while loops condition in order to loop around the code that is inside we're going to say while um, the password variable is equal to false so if we drag in an equal operator there put the password in there and then we'll go to logic and we'll drag in a false so while the password is equal to false so we know at the start because password is set to false at the start that this loop, this loop will run and it will continue to run until the password is true so now we need to understand if the password has been entered so like we said we're going to say if button A is pressed and button B is pressed so I'm just going to drag in those two conditions change that one to B and we're going to get an AND logic operator so and that means that both of these have to be true in order to go into the if statement so if both those buttons are pressed we're going to print a string just to say um, access um, granted and we're also in order to ensure that this loop doesn't continue to run and it goes down to the next line of code to continue to run the program that we attach to it we're going to take our variable password so we're going to set password to true so so long as the user puts in the correct information the A and the B being pressed together access is granted password is set to true the condition for the loop is no longer satisfied and therefore it will not continue to loop and it will go down to the next line of code so just to test that if we run if I press button A on its own it will not run B on its own get nothing but if I satisfy this condition press A and B access is granted and now we can attach any program that we create underneath and so long as that password is inputted we can continue to run